this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to resolve an improper fraction to partial fraction. So let's get started. Resolve problem. Resolve x power 4 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into partial fractions. Okay. So we are given a fraction x power 4 by x minus 1 into x minus 2. Okay. So if you consider it as p of x by q of x. So we are having p of x equals to x power 4. So degree of p of x is 4. And you are having q of x equals to x minus 1 into x minus 2. So if you multiply x minus 1 with x minus 2, you will get x into x, x is square minus 2x. Minus 1 into x is minus x. Minus into minus plus 1 into 2, 2. So this equals to x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay. So we can write this x minus 1 into x minus 2 as x squared minus 3x plus 2. So the degree of q of x is 2. So it is clear that degree of p of x is greater than degree of q of x. If degree of the numerator is greater than degree of denominator, the given fraction, we can say that the given fraction is an improper fraction. Okay. So we are given and improper fraction solution given improper fraction x power 4 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 you could write it as x power 4 by x square minus 3x plus 2. Okay. So, after dividing x power 4 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 that is x squared minus 3x plus 2 you could express this fraction as quotient plus reminder by divisor okay you can express the fraction as quotient Plus reminder by divisor. Okay. Fine. So let's divide x power 4 by x square minus 3x plus 2. Okay. So x square minus 3x plus 2 into x square will be x square into x square is x power 4. Right. Will be easy, right? So x square into x square is x power 4 minus 3 into x into x square is x cube plus 2 into x square is 2x square. Okay. So into x square. x square minus 3x plus 2 into x square is x power 4 minus 3x cube plus 2x square. Now change the signs. Plus x four. Uh, sorry. Plus x power 4 and minus x power 4 gets cancelled. So you will get plus 3x cube minus 2x square. Now
we need to cancel this 3x cube so that we can multiply x square minus 3x plus 2 with 3x. So you'll get 3 into x into x square is x cube minus 3 3 is a 9 x into x x square plus 2 3 is a 6 into x is 6x. Six, six. Okay. Plus 3x. So x square minus 3x plus 2 into 3x is 3x cube minus 9x square plus 6x. Six, six. Now change the signs. Minus plus minus no cancel plus 3x cube and minus 3x cube so you'll get plus 9x square minus 2x square is 7 plus 7x square minus 6x okay so here we have to cancel this 7x square we have to cancel 7x square so for that, what we are going to do is, we'll simply multiply this with 7. x square minus 3x plus 2 into 7 is, 7 into x square is 7x square minus 7 3 is 21, x plus some 2 is 14. Okay? So, This into 7 is 7x seven square minus 21x plus 14. So now we can change the signs. Plus 7x square and minus 7x square gets cancelled. So plus 21x minus 6x is 15x minus 14. So here... 15x minus 14 is our reminder and x square plus 3x plus 7 is our quotient and this is our divisor. So now we can express the given improper fraction as Quotient equals to x square plus 3x plus 7 plus reminder is 15x minus 14 by divisor x square minus 3x plus 2. Okay. So, I could write it as x power 4 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to x square plus 3x plus 7 plus 15x minus 14 by you are having x square minus 3x plus 2 which is x minus 1 into x minus 2. So, I am going to replace it with x minus 1 into x minus 2 or I can say we can write x minus 1 into x minus 2 instead of x square minus 3x plus 2. Okay. Fine. So consider it as equation 1. Now we can consider the second part. Okay. From 1 take Second part or the second part can be written as 15x minus 14 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2. Okay. See here. 15x minus 14 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 is again a fraction, right? So, if you consider it as p of x and this as q of x, 
here the degree of p of x is 1 and the degree of q of x is obviously 2. So degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x. Okay. So from this we can say that this fraction is a proper fraction. Okay. So we have reduced the improper fraction or the given improper fraction into proper fraction. Okay. A polynomial plus proper fraction we can say. Now I am going to take this proper fraction. So I could write it as a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2. So let's consider it as equation number 2. Okay. So we are having two equations x power 4 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to x square plus 3x plus 7 plus 15x minus 14 by x minus 1 into x minus 2. This is our equation number 1. And another equation 15x minus 14 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2. This is our equation number 2. Okay. Now, this becomes, that is equation 2 becomes 15x minus 14 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals 2. Now take the LCM of x minus 1 and x minus 2. x minus 1 ones are x minus 1. So you don't have any x minus 1. So you can write as it is x minus 2 into 1. Right. So LCM of x minus 1 and x minus 2 is x minus 1 into x minus 2. Okay. The numerator will get a into, since you are having x minus 1, okay, already you are having x minus 1 in the denominator, so you have to include x minus 2 to this a, that is we have to multiply x minus 2 to a plus the denominator of the second fraction, you are having x minus 2, so you have to multiply x minus 1 to this b. Okay. If you take this x uh, a into x minus 2 and the denominator x minus 1 into x minus 2, you can cancel x minus 2 and x minus 2. Finally, you'll get a by x minus 1, which is our first fraction. If we consider this b part and the denominator, if we cancel x minus 1, x minus 1 from the numerator and denominator, you'll get b by x minus 2, which is our second part. Okay. So now we can cancel x minus 1, x minus 2. So from this we will get 15x minus 14 equals to a into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 1. So you can consider it as equation number 3. So we are having one more equation. Fifteen x minus fourteen equals to a into x minus two plus b into x minus one, which is our equation number three. Sorry, not one, three. Okay. Now take x minus two. Let x minus two equals to zero. Then x equals to two. Now put 
x equals to 2 and 3, that is equation 3. From 3 you will get 15 into 2 minus 14 equals to a into 2 minus 2 plus b into 2 minus 1. 15 2 is a 30 minus 14 equals to 2 minus 2 is 0. So you will get a into 0 plus b into 2 minus 1 is 1. So 30 minus 14 is 16 equals to 0 plus b. So from this we will get b equals to 16. So we got b equals to 16. Okay. Therefore, b equals to 16. Now, let x minus 1 equals to 0. Then you will get x equals to 1. So now put x equals to 1 in equation 3. So 3 becomes... 15 into 1 minus 14 equals to a into 1 minus 2 plus b into 1 minus 1. So from this we will get 15 into 1 is 15 minus 14 equals to a into 1 minus 2 is minus 1 plus b into 1 minus 1 is 0. 15 minus 1 is 1 which is equals to minus 1 into a is minus a plus 0. So from this you will get a equals to minus 1. So, therefore, A equals to minus 1. So, we got the values of unknowns. Right? Now, we are having the values of unknowns. Simply, you can substitute the values of unknowns. That is A and B in equation 2. And finally, you can replace equation 2 in 1. Okay. So now substitute the values of A and B in equation 2. We have A equals to minus 1 and B equals to 16 or we can say we got. Or you can say therefore. Now, substitute a, b values in 2. So, 2 becomes 15x minus 14 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to a by that is minus 1 by x minus 1 plus we are having b equals to 16 by x minus 2 right so equation 1 becomes x power 4 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to x square plus 3x plus 7 plus minus 1 by x minus 1 plus 16 by x minus 2. Since you are having x, uh, 15x minus 14 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 is minus 1 by x minus 1 plus 16 by x minus 2. Okay, since 15x minus 14 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to minus 1 by x minus 1 plus 16 by x minus 2. Okay, fine. So, this becomes x power 4 by 
x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to x square plus 3x plus 7 minus 1 by x minus 1 plus 16 by x minus 2. So, this completes a problem. Therefore, x power 4 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to x square plus 3x plus 7 minus 1 by x minus 1 plus 16 by x minus 2. Okay, fine. So, we have seen a problem from partial fractions in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.